guest, Congressman Jim Banks, wonderful congressman from the state of Indiana. He's also the chairman of the Republican Study Committee. Jim, come on down. Okay, let's jump right into it. We were talking about being the fighter, fighters on the front line, and you and I were having a great conversation backstage about how the year of 2021 was the year to try to cancel Jim Banks on every sort of level. Uh, first of all, let me give, throw out a name to you and then you give me a reaction. Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> so what happened that you actually got kicked off of a committee? Walk us through the process. Well, let's go back to the beginning of, of January 2021. We had the election, then we had January 6th. By the way, I will never, ever apologize for objecting to an unconstitutional election in November of 2020. So January 6th happened, obviously a really terrible day, a riot at the United States Capitol, something that uh, saddens uh, most, most of us, all, should all of us. Um, and then we had January 20th, when we replaced the best president of my lifetime with the worst president that we've ever had in American history. So then we had this debate in the Nancy Pelosi-led Congress about uh, organizing a bipartisan commission to study January 6th to do everything that we can to make sure that something like January 6th never happens. Again. Right. That's a, that's a valid goal. Unfortunately, the sham January 6th commission that Pelosi and Cheney lead don't have any interest at all in doing that. But Kevin McCarthy, uh, who was on the stage with me last year, he asked me to be the Republican leader of the, the, the Jan 6th sham committee so that we could fight back and, and do the real work of actually studying what happened that day uh, digging into uh, uh, important questions like why did, why did Nancy Pelosi, who was in charge of Capitol security, block the National Guard from coming to protect the Capitol? That's an important question, question, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it didn't take more than two or three days when one of my true heroes in the United States Congress, Jim Jordan, <laughs> who was also selected by Kevin McCarthy to be a part of the committee with me, when we both got canceled and kicked off of the committee by Nancy Pelosi. It's never happened in congressional How history How did she before. reach out to you and let you know about, like, that you were not going to be part of this? I was at a Republican study committee meeting. We meet every Wednesday with our uh, conservative colleagues in the House. I found out a bit about it on Twitter. Well, not surprising. As well as they actually, when they subpoena these young kids, many times they find out on Twitter because that's where they post the letters or they go straight to their jobs to give them these subpoenaed letters. Make no doubt about it. This is a political witch hunt. This is a, this is a dangerous uh, path by the Democrats and Nancy Pelosi, their best friend, the Democrats' best friend, Nancy Pelosi, and uh, Adam Kinzinger. This is their power play to erase and to attack anyone who disagrees with their agenda. Jim, were you uh, surprised that Liz Cheney and Adam Kinzinger both just supported this, uh, this effort by Nancy Pelosi to really, you know what their whole goal is. They, they want to throw Donald Trump in jail. I mean, that's their whole goal. They want to find a crime if they can. I mean, were you surprised that two of your colleagues moved in that direction? Unfortunately, no. Uh, in both cases, Liz Cheney would rather have Nancy Pelosi in the speaker's chair than any Republican at this point. And that's why, by the way, I commend the RNC for censoring Adam yes. Kinzinger and Liz Cheney because they deserve it. But you know, we have, we've seen some Republican politicians like Mitch McConnell, he doesn't agree with the censorship. I mean, where do we stand there when you have certain Republicans trying to protect these so-called, I don't even call them Republicans anymore, but I mean, what do you think about those Republicans that are trying to say, no, no, we can't have this happen? Look, when you look at what this sham January 6th committee has done, how they've abused the power of the Congress to go after their political enemies, I don't know how you can arrive at any other place than agreeing with the RNC and others who believe that there is no, there is no place in the Republican Party for those who abuse their power, like Liz Cheney and Adam Kinzinger. So let me ask you, you know, we're going to get into these midterm elections uh, in 20, obviously this year in 2022. 
what, what do you think the committee, what is gonna be the end result of this committee? What, what are we are, we're expecting from the January 6th committee? Well, it's obviously a, a political circus that's designed to take all the attention away from what Americans really care about, which is inflation, crime. Fentanyl is the leading cause of death for Americans age for 18 to 45, working age Americans today because of the border crisis. Uh, the, bo the border crisis is another issue that the Americans care deeply about. The foreign policy missteps of this president who, Bob Gates was right when he said Joe Biden has been wrong on every major foreign policy issue for 40 years and he wrote that 10 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's what the American people care about, but the Democrats know that this is going so badly for Joe Biden and for the Democrats that they, they will do anything to change the subject. So you were also canceled on Twitter. Why? <laughs> I called a biological man a man, and oh. I got kicked off of Twitter. Oh. <laughs> I imagine it's happened to some of you as well. But these are the tactics designed by the right. left, right? The January 6th committee to go after political opponents, anyone who was associated with Donald Trump uh, before, during, or after January 6th, and, and their friends in the big tech who want to silence all of us for what we believe as well. Obviously, we're seeing uh, the Russian aggression into Ukraine. Now we're seeing Ukraine mobilize uh, their troops uh, to try to see if they can fight against a massive army. I mean, when you're watching this from a, obviously, being a congressional member, how, how do you think the Biden administration should be handling this? And, and also talk a little bit about Afghanistan. But first, let's, let's talk Russia. Well, we can't get to Russia before talking for a moment about Afghanistan. I served in uniform in Afghanistan. It was the, the proudest moments of my life was putting on the uniform and serving my country. And to this moment, as I sit here with all of you today, it makes me sick to my stomach to see the way that Joe Biden embarrassed America on the world stage. But Putin, Xi, Iran, all of our adversaries were watching that moment, and that's why they're seizing on this moment, a moment of unparalleled and historic American weakness to act out and do what they've always wanted to do, in Putin's case, to invade Ukraine. He knew he, knew he could get away with it because he had Joe Biden figured out the day that Joe Biden came into right. office. He knew that this was the moment that he had been waiting for, after four years of a very strong President. This would have never happened on Donald Trump's watch. But, but Putin gamed it out. He knew that when Joe Biden became the president, he could get away with it. And I fear that Xi and the Chinese Communist Party, they know that they can get away with invading Taiwan as well because of this very historic, weak moment for America. So that, that's what makes me sick to my stomach about Ukraine as well. As a member of Congress, I went to Ukraine a couple of years ago. I went out in the east on an army base where I watched firsthand American troops training the Ukrainian right. troops to fight back against Russian aggression. That was on Donald Trump's watch as commander in chief. And what we are seeing before our eyes, if you, if you go on Twitter right now or online, um, any of the platforms, Truth Social, um, in, any, of the, in any of the platforms online, you'll see videos of the Ukrainian soldiers fighting back and thank God. They're doing that because we helped them, we trained them, we gave them our American fighting spirit along the way, and we're seeing them use it. Right, and we have troops on the ground um, in Poland. I mean, what's your message to them? Uh, this, is a, this is a historic moment for America to lead. And right now, we have a, while we have a president and a commander in chief who is not a leader, uh, we have young men and women who are brave, who raised their right hand like I did, to protect and defend American freedom and values. And, and uh, at this point, though, my, my message to the world is this, is this was completely avoidable. And, uh, but better days lie ahead. 2022, November is here. It's right around the corner. At that moment, we're going to take back our country from the radical left who is trying to tear it down. Thank you, Congressman Jim Banks. We're so honored to have you here with us. Thank you. Thank you. That was great. See you. Thanks. Thank you.